Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded uh, quadrilateral A, B, C, D, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this side A, B is parallel to this side uh, C, D. And moreover, uh, the side uh, C, D is four units long, whereas uh, its side uh, B, C is uh, five units. This segment uh, A E equal to this segment uh, D E. And furthermore, we got this uh, segment uh, B E and this segment uh, C E fully confined uh, in this uh, yellow shaded quadrilateral such that uh, this angle is our 90 degrees angle. And finally, this angle uh, C D E equal to this uh, angle uh, CED. In other words, uh, these two angles are uh, congruent. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, quadrilateral ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle CDE. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, triangle uh, CDE is our isosceles triangle since this angle is alpha and this angle is uh, alpha as well. So therefore we conclude uh, that this uh, side uh, CD is going to be equal to this side uh, CE. And since uh, these two side lengths are uh, congruent, if this side length uh, is four units, uh, then this uh, CE length uh, has got to be four units as well. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BEC, whose uh, side lengths are four and five, and this side is uh, unknown. And now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets, three, four, five. And here we can see in this triangle uh, BEC, this side uh, length uh, is four, this side length is five. So therefore uh, this uh, side B length has got to be three units. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to label this angle uh, AEB as our uh, angle beta. And now let's recall the straight angle property. In other words, uh, this uh, whole angle has got to be our angle 180 degrees. And we know this angle is our uh, 90 degrees angle. So therefore we conclude that the sum of these angles alpha and beta, in other words I can write angle alpha plus angle beta must be equal to 90 degrees. And now in this uh, next step we are going to think outside the box and going to draw some uh, auxiliary lines to make our job simple. And here we have created uh, this triangle uh, DEF as you can see over here such that uh, this segment uh, FD is parallel to this segment uh, AB. And here we can see this angle beta and this angle, they are going to be congruent angles since uh, they are vertical angles. If this angle is beta, then this angle has got to be beta as well. And furthermore, uh, this angle has got to be congruent to this uh, angle since they are our uh, alternate angles and bear in mind uh, that this uh, BF is our straight line such that uh, E is the midpoint. So therefore we conclude that these uh, two triangles, the triangle DEF and the other triangle AEB are our uh, congruent triangles according to angle side angle uh, congruency theorem. And bear in mind this is our triangle DEF and this triangle is our triangle AEB. And since uh, these two triangles are congruent, so therefore we conclude that this uh, segment uh, BE has got to be equal to this segment uh, FE. If this segment is three, then this segment has got to be three units as well. So therefore we conclude that this whole uh, length uh, BF has got to be three plus three is going to make uh, six uh, units. And furthermore, let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole angle, uh, 
CEF which is equal to alpha plus beta and we know our alpha plus beta is always equal to 90 degrees. So therefore we conclude that this whole angle CEF has got to be a 90 degrees angle. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, yellow shaded quadrilateral area is going to be equal to the area of the triangle uh, BCF. Since uh, this uh, triangle is congruent to this uh, auxiliary triangle. In other words, we have shifted uh, this uh, triangle uh, over here. So therefore, it would be sufficient to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, BCF before we could calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. So therefore we are going to focus uh, on this uh, big uh, triangle uh, BCF whose uh, side lengths are uh, 4, 5 uh, and 6. And we are going to calculate the area of this triangle BCF. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle and in our case uh, the base of this uh, triangle uh, is uh, 6 units whereas the height uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, 4 units. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So the area of this triangle BCF is going to be a half uh, times the base of the triangle is 6 uh, times the height is uh, 4 units. And if we multiply and simplify, that is going to give us uh, 12 square units. So the triangle BCF area turns out to be 12 square units. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the yellow shaded region area. So therefore, let's recall this uh, equation. The yellow shaded region area is going to be equal to the area of the triangle BCF. And we know our triangle BCF area, we already figured out as 12. And we are going to substitute that value 12 over here. So therefore we conclude that our yellow shaded region area turns out to be 12 square units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, yellow shaded quadrilateral turns out to be 12 square units. In other words the whole area of this uh, yellow shaded quadrilateral is going to be 12 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye